Can you bypass hardware ban in Fortnite? If you were a Fortnite player and currently got a hardware ban message, is there a way to bypass this? Well, there is and as a matter of fact, there are three ways to do it. So don't skip this video a bit because each and every step is interlinked to one another. Quick disclaimer on this video is that if you are indulged in any kind of cheating in Fortnite, this video will not work for you. This video is only for those persons who are by mistakenly banned by the server of Epic and it is not for those who are already cheating, you will not be able to get your account back. So this channel does not promote any kind of cheating activity whatsoever you are doing in your Fortnite account. So make sure you remember that in your mind that if you are indulged in any kind of cheating activity, this video won't work for you. Now first and foremost thing you need to understand that hardware ban happens in many ways. Some people entire computer is banned. That means the player cannot play Fortnite with any of his computer parts. Some hardware bans are completely different. It only bans the drivers and the hard drive. Now you have to note that it is not a very simple process to put a hardware ban on any player. If you're thinking that anybody can get a hardware ban, well that's part true because Fortnite has mentioned that there are certain rules and boundaries which all player needs to be while playing the game. Now if someone is using a restricted hardware which means that that seems to be flagged by the Epic server as they are constantly monitoring your system, even though it may be just a USB drive or anything like that, which according to the server is not allowed and which you have just connected, it feels a bit fishy only to the Epic server, then it will provide you with a warning message first by kicking you out of the lobby. Once you're in the lobby, you will see a warning message as you can see right now on the screen and it will not allow you to play the game as you can see on your screen. Now if you're facing this error in Fortnite and you haven't connect any device or hardware that is restricting, you can refer to this video as you can see on the screen, the link is provided in the i button at the top hand corner and even in the description. Now you may be aware that this season that is in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4, Epic has already developed a pretty advanced and accurate framework in order to detect restricted hardware. As you can see on the screen, it states that Starting this season, players who are using restricted devices that provides or are intent to provide a competitive advantage in may receive an in-game warning. To continue playing, players must remove the hardware and restart Fortnite. Attempt to bypass this restriction will result in permanent ban from Fortnite. Restricted devices include but not are limited to the Cronus Gen and Cronus Max. So they have mentioned that Cronus Gen or Cronus Max devices or hardware devices cannot be used if you're a console player but want to play in keyboard and mouse. So they have restricted them too so be careful if you're using them and it can lead to a permanent ban or a hardware ban or anything some sort of like that. Now if suppose you got the warning and then you still continue to play with the same restricted device according to the epic server connected to your PC then you will get a message that this account has been banned due to recent action. And if you close the game and try to launch in again and go into the lobby try to play a game, let's say for example a solo match, but it will send you the same warning message and it will kick you out of the match. In simple words, you cannot play any match at all, even though you are going inside Fortnite. Now the biggest question is how to bypass or fix this problem? Well as I have mentioned that there are three ways to do it. Before that, you need to know that which device or hardware is banned for you. Is it a particular hardware or the entire PC? If it is a particular device, let's say your hard drive mostly which gets banned, that is the hardware and the motherboard. So let's for example consider it as a hardware device. Then you can try to remove the hard drive. If you have an SSD or a hard disk drive, then you can try to connect an external hard drive and install the game over there and then try to launch it. If you're still getting the error in the game, that means that it's not only your SSD or hard drive, it is more than one hardware device or your entire PC. So if you're lucky enough, first way to fix your problem easily is by swapping the hardware drive or the SSD drive to an external SSD or a hard disk drive and if it is working you can get a new hard drive and then play the game without any issues. But if the problem doesn't get fixed then you need to move to the second step. Now the second step is most important one and it does have work for a lot of players. What you need to do is you need to directly contact Epic. How to do it? How to contact Epic is that there's a link provided in the description. You can go over there or you can simply copy this link which is written over here and this kind of page will open up. You just need to scroll down to the bottom and you will find Fortnite. Simply click on this 
and we're not concerned of any of these things we just need to click on contact us for you maybe this page will not directly open you have to first sign in so i have signed into my account as you can see the top uh, right hand corner what do you need to do is you need to choose the platform you're using let's say for example you're using a pc you need to describe the problem over here that maybe sometimes it can happen that you have just plugged in usb which has no restrictions whatsoever but somehow maybe epic server have detected it as a false so you can describe that problem you can you can put a photograph of that or anything like that whatever it feels like it's a proof that you have not cheated or anything like that so you can put all those things over here describe the problem in a better way and simply submit an email request after you have submitted the email request it will take like hardly 15 to 20 minutes they will come back to you with a reply and you can talk and discuss and see if the problem or the ban can be lifted up so if epic lifted your problem that's perfectly fine then you are good to go you can play your game but if the problem is not lifted then you should work on the next step now if this doesn't help you or a support team say that they can't lift the ban then you need to go for the third step now the third step would be a bit complicated though it can be very helpful without changing or buying new hardware you have to make sure that you have already uninstalled fortnite in your device before doing all these things now first and foremost what you need to do is you need to change the serial number of all the hardware devices present in your PC. For this, you can use any kind of serial number changer, though I would suggest you to go for the hard text serial number changer. It is a very simple and easy to use. When you open it up, you just will see the driver name. You just simply click on it, choose a serial number, and just simply click on OK. It will automatically change the serial number. The second step would be something called as a Technitum MAC address changer. What is this? This is simply it will change the MAC address of all the network devices present in your computer so that it has no relation with the older devices which we're using. No use using the same devices but the address will be completely different so that nobody can notice that you have changed the MAC address. And this kind of software is also very simple to use. You just need to select a driver and just simply click on change MAC. It will change the address for you right in that very spot. The fourth thing was getting the new windows. So you need to download new windows and install it and uh, you should remove any kind of traces which are there from the old in windows you just need to simply download the new windows and install it and that's it step number five would be to install all your drivers and updating your bios settings now you may know about what kind of uh, motherboard you're using currently so you can search onto their forums and you will find some called something called as a download box over there just to go to the download option and you will find the bios settings whichever the latest one you just simply download it put it in a flash drive and simply install the BIOS and then you're good to go. Do do remember that if these steps or some doesn't work for you, well, other than changing your hardware, there is no other choice. If you play Fortnite in old hardware, then probably you need an upgrade. So you need to think about that, that if these things is not helping you, which is maybe for some users, so you need to get an upgrade, you need to change. First and foremost, you would have to consider changing your hard disk drive and the motherboard and then you can try and see if it is working. If it is not working, then probably you need to change other devices as well inside your PC. So that was a video. If this video fixed your problem, do like the video. And if you're still having the issue, you can contact me on Twitter just to make sure that post a screenshot of the error and tag me. Moreover, you can comment down in this video if you're facing some other issues, I will try to help you out. So that's it for the video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.